All right, guys, welcome back to another Warframe video. So in the last video, um, we were doing a little steel path testing with uh, Kome. And, uh, you know, I got through it, um, went down a few times. Uh, in general, I do like her kit, but kind of my takeaway... Oop, I see a thing on my neck. My Kind of my takeaway was that I feel like um, it's going to need a little more testing, some build adjustments, uh, survivability being the primary kind of issue that I had. Uh, but I was considering maybe removing her too. Um, I, I don't know if it would be worth it, but I was thinking an obvious one might be Hildren's uh, Pilfer. Um, would be pretty good to uh, pretty quickly pull some shields back on her. Of course, she already has the possibility of gaining health and invulnerability with her three. Uh, but that was kind of my takeaway. And today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I've just been doing a little bit of, you know, back and forth background grinding. Uh, but I had pulled out, which I never showed on camera, but uh, when somebody mentioned a few weeks ago, hey, you should play the Steel Path uh, circuit this week. The Torrid Incarnan is up for grabs, and it's a really good one. Um, I had played with it. I got it ranked up and kind of put it away and forgot about it. And I was working on some MR, getting through all my weapons that I had already crafted, maxed uh, in the background here. And as I was scrolling through, I saw the Torrid again. So I decided to just play around with that for a little bit earlier today and then i was kind of comparing it to my tenant arc uh, what's it called arc uh, no tenant galaxian which this i really liked and i was thinking yeah it was hitting pretty decent um there's still some you know galvanized mods that i'm missing i really have been bad about focusing arbitrations i have a few but i started with the shotgun because i've been maining the fell arcs uh but I like this weapon and it's not hitting bad but then while i was playing with the torrid and incarnate it got me thinking it functions basically the same uh in terms of incarnates i like it you know preferably to a lot of others if you're going to pop it into incarnate form because it doesn't require headshots granted it has a little smaller magazine uh, but then i just jumped back onto the torrid just to see how it compared to the tenet glaxian and it hits even harder. Now, to be fair, I did uh, quickly make uh, one quick uh, Forma polarity swap to get multi-shot on there. And then I ranked it back up. Uh, so this is where I left the Torrid. But this is already hitting for, gosh, I mean, it's got at least 50, 60, 70% more damage output. And I was thinking, hmm, Torrid would be a fun one to play around with again. And because it was shooting corrosive, I was thinking, uh, what would that pair well with? And I said, oh, yeah, Saren. I never went back to try Saren in Steel Path after having tested around with her in the Simulacrum. Now, I didn't do extensive testing. And in terms of other weapons that I have here at my disposal, um, I'm sure there are some others that would be pretty decent but i just wanted to see if i could actually survive with her in steel path um i don't think that i made it through at all like i tested and failed but since i've done a little more testing and uh decided that i wanted to try to stick with epitaph for status priming at least that's how i had been using dante playing stuff that just shot his damage through the roof um i thought i might just leave it on for a bit test it with Saren and just see how she fares now if an acolyte pops in i'm probably done for um, but i'm just gonna try it out and see how it goes guys this is just strictly going to be a test so i don't remember what i had left off uh, with Saren. i'm gonna quickly refresh my memory the order of her abilities spores yeah that's a good one toxic clash is kind of one of the mains i want to have up all the time he asked me if i need it uh, but since I have the Panzer Volpa Phyla, which speaking of their claws, yep, they're finally maxed, so I should have some points here. Oh, I have nothing else I can put on there. I need to collect some more mods that would be useful, but the Panzer is already going to be proccing some viral in the background. I think I've got corrosive that procs as my primary on my epitaph. I get corrosive viral and toxin with Saren. So I'm just going to pop in solo, 
Steel Path. We'll see what's up. I don't remember what I had left the last time I was working on stuff. Mobile Defense Survival. Uh, that probably would be a bit over the top defense. I don't want to try interception. No, I guess I could see if I could get through a mobile defense. Is that what this is on steel path as well? Yeah, I guess I'll just try it. We'll see what happens. I don't expect that mobile defense is going to be super easy for me, but we're going to try. We're just going to play around with her. It's been a while, um, and I thought I might come back because I never real-world tested her with the Exceltra because of the radial. That's what seemed to be the most logical solution. Um, in my estimation, I'm just going to quickly get a little bit of energy. I'll pick that up. I'll tell you, another thing I've been working on is using the bumpers in lieu of the D-pad for my abilities. That actually, yeah, I mean, seems to work okay, the Exceltra. But now I gotta go back and pick I up the data mass. To a terminal. Find one and patch me in. So we'll see how it goes, and I'm sure I don't have the Exceltra Prime set up the best that I possibly could. But like I said, this is just a test to see if I can get through this. And the reason that Stay I was focused. really curious about Saren is that, you know, when I'm just playing... Ah, there it goes. Yeah, survivability was indeed her big issue. I don't know, that's doing pretty good damage there though, guys. working on it. Continue to defend. Ah, uh, what did I step in? I guess it's that pool. So, I'll be pretty lucky if I somehow manage to get through this. Got some red crits in there. Always nice to see. Nothing else. Area completed. Move on. Just gonna see if I can get this cleared out so I can try to survive long enough to make it to the next room. Oh, Saren! Something shot you in the back! Her damage output is quite nice. There's no question about it. Damage output is not a problem for her, really, it seems. It's survivability. So maybe... should just consider maybe leaving a little damage on the table to focus a bit on survivability. Now, I've already gone down twice, I think, maybe There's thrice. So the likelihood that Watch I get yourself. through this here on the way. seems like it's... I should turn that off. going to be pretty slim. Yeah, that wasn't horrible.
Okay, still on my feet. Ooh, there's a big group right up here. Here is a terminal. Get me in and get ready to defend. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Oof. Yeah, it's just squish factor. Still working on it. Continue to defend. Nope. No chance. Yep. That's what I thought. Okay. So I had a feeling that that mission type where I have to defend an objective wouldn't be the easiest with Saren. I feel like I'm on the right path. Maybe there's a better weapon than Excelter Prime. But it's got to be something that puts out enough damage and shoots quickly enough with a decent enough magazine that has a good radial. So I bet there's some other alternate options I could try, but I don't want to give up on her just yet. Um, why don't I try a different type of mission? Uh, what did we have open on Jupiter? That's a rescue. I could probably get through a rescue. It might be interesting to try Saturn Junction if we can get that unlocked. So let's just see if I can get through this. Uh, of course, that's Corpus. This is a wildly inappropriate setup, really, for Corpus. But I guess I could just try it and see what happens. Uh, yeah, it's worth a shot, guys. So, so far, I have been unsuccessful getting through any of the missions I've tried with Saren Prime. I feel like her damage output is great. Um, I don't have a ton of reps in the saddle with her kit. So that's also probably a large part of the problem. Um, but with quick deaths I feel like if I can victory. just overcome the survivability hurdle, she should be pretty strong. Because I see other people that I'm playing with uh, when I do stuff just completely nuking entire rooms with Saren, like, without batting an eye. So... That actually does okay damage on Corpus. Find the captive as soon as you can. We don't have much time. So I don't want to dilly dally and head off to where I don't necessarily need to be going. I'd rather just try to get to the point. Run, Saren. Anybody behind me? Hopefully not. Betrayers. My partners and I have been working on it. Project. And I wanted you to be the first to see my amalgam. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Looks like heavy activity ahead. Whoops. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. You are approaching the holding area. Careful. If the wardens detect you, they will surely initiate the execution sequence. Bypass complete. You may proceed. Oof. Okay. Gotta hit these two panels. Hurry up. You are running out of time. Okay. Gonna have to be quick. I thought it 
I was gonna Yes! Thank you. Okay. Prisoner located. We need to get them back to command in one piece. Find yeah, I your know way we to do. the exits and don't leave the subject behind. I'm gonna run, run, run. Run, Sarah, and run. And I'll watch your back. Okay, we went down once. I think we're gonna make it though. Yeah, it's just right here. Okay, so as you the foe, <laughs> she so can get through some stuff. Um, I still feel like it's her survivability is her Achilles heel. Like she's clearly quite adept at dishing out damage. That's not a problem. So I'm trying to think what a decent balance trade-off would be for her to get her survivability up. You know, I wonder. I wonder. If I ran Panzervolpaphyla that's proccing viral, I'm could possibly take four off and put something else on. And kind of the same thought process I had with Kome, maybe Hildren's Pilfer would be enough to keep her on her feet um, just with some additional overshielding. Uh, maybe there's some other abilities. Obviously, I haven't subsumed a ton of frames. Um, either that or something that would make her hit even harder roar to just let her overcome her enemies with sheer damage output and just melt them even quicker so that survivability doesn't matter because they're no longer there to even be attacking you i don't know i'm sure there's a lot of ways to go about this but at least i finally got through one so i'm gonna have to keep playing around with that i think but i just want to see what we unlocked and if i can get through at least one or two more with Saren. That was kind of what I wanted to test today. Invasion. Which one is invasion? I don't recall what type that is. Capture. Okay, that should be straightforward. Mobile defense. I know that's a challenge. Uh, let's just go to Ananke. And we should be able to take out a corpus and quickly get in, get out. Frankly, this is easier than rescue. Just, you know... Take them down, get in, get out. Their rage is being in my opinion, it is anyway. Impressive. Give them all warriors' death. Okay, I'll try Tessian. Wait, can I can I land on his head? No. There's nothing I can do about this. I'm completely. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, that stinks. I mean, how does he go down in the middle of the air? I don't get it. He has to land somewhere. I realize he had a jetpack on, but if they get murked while they're flying in the air, they just drop down in the middle of the air. That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to try that one again, guys. I feel like I got uh, hosed a little bit there. Accept your death. And you may yet avoid it. Normally, I would Trust catch something like that out, training. but I want you to see what happened. <laughs> Run, Speedy. The capture target has vital information that we will need to extract. We need our subject brought back alive. You found the target. Capture them quickly before they escape.
yeah, I don't trust uh, trying to even kind of sort of trying to shoot at the target while he's up in the air. Looks like heavy activity ahead. Yeah, okay. Wait for him to land, no problem. Yeah, I definitely just got hosed in the, my last approaching. run. Excellent work. We'll interrogate the captive back at base. Your part is done here, Tenno. I just gotta survive running 600 meters. Good. Yeah, I was hoping that would happen. Wow. Maybe I won't get out of here. This is actually ridiculous. No, 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 no. Not up the edge there. That's not what I needed. There we go. Okay. Whew. Yeah, survivability. She can't take, you know, two bullets without being on the brink of death. That's a problem. Yes, she hits hard, but she is entirely too squishy. Entirely too squishy. And for the record, I'm really behind on catching up on comments. I was behind before the hurricane. And I know I had a video where I was doing simulacrum testing relatively recently and I did uh, playing around with her so there could be some comments with some tips for me I just haven't made it through them yet I promise I will get caught up guys I've uh, got some time this weekend I'm gonna spend a few hours and just read back through all the stuff everybody's posted for me it's uh, the busiest time of the year uh, at my day job but be that as it may okay so we made it through a couple uh, maybe not the most uh, beautiful and gracious get through, but we did get through them. Uh, so now kind of something that I wanted to test was just uh, I'm going to take it a little lighter. I'm going to pop on Dante and I am going to pop on the Torrid and play around with that in some steel path. Uh, this is not testing really anything. I just want to see how viable it is in steel path if it is viable because um, it seems to hit pretty well so i have it set up primarily for corrosive uh where i was testing it i was fighting against grenier um, that seemed to be pretty fine plus as like a general status effect it's not bad because it removes Operator, armor with multiple know, stacks um, so i mean that's useful for index. a lot of stuff i think in steel path um, plus I've got the Panzer that can viral proc on targets to help me out while I'm running that anyway. So without even making any adjustments to it at all, without even considering the enemy type that I'm going to be fighting, I'm just going to jump in. I may consider Jupiter, but I feel like there was some other stuff that I didn't do yet that Dante should be able to get through interception yeah he can probably do interception solo mobile defense shouldn't be a problem a regular defense i don't know survival yeah let's go draco let's try draco let's try survival i think this will be pretty fun because i was playing i was doing uh solo arbitrations with dante it was interception not my favorite game mode but it's really no problem with dante I don't know how he would fare on a steel path solo interception. Uh, be that as it may, Their I'm just going to see what I think about the torrid in steel path. Give them all warriors death. I'll do a quick cut. I am uh, before I go pushing through the door. I am going to get my, you know, basic stuff up that I need up. 
Andante. All right, guys, I triggered the alarm. Systems. I'm sending life support capsules your way. Yep, see, no headshots required, and it's super fast. Oh, what, what, what? Are you kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me right now? Guys, that is ridiculous. Yeah, it does burn through some ammo reasonably quickly, but it truly doesn't matter. Get ready for a capsule. Guys, this is the most OP thing I have seen in this game so far by a mile. I mean, this is just melting. delivered a life support Everything. capsule to the area. Activating it will buy you more time. I mean, I realize I'm not saying much. I'm just at in awe right now. These are level 100 whatever steel caps for here and they are just absolutely getting shredded. Support incoming. Uh, you know what? I am a little curious. What happens if I just use straight up Dante? Delivered another life support. As himself, capsule. yeah. He also uh does quite well well against Steel Path. Well priming. It on act right. Yeah, I'm getting a lot more comfortable just holding the bumper and doing the correct button input get my abilities out. I'm getting a lot better with it. Still going to take a bit of practice, but once you put the time in and get comfortable with it, it is a lot nicer than scrolling. I mean, this is just downright silly. I don't even know what else to say. I was not expecting Another life support capsule is now available. Um, well, I see why. I mean, I was thinking, oh, yeah, the core of the incarnate felt pretty good, but it wasn't feeling that good. 
I see why somebody told me to pick it up. This thing is disgusting. I mean, it it is pure filth. Our operative is making progress. This will help our cause. When you okay. are ready, go to extraction. I guess I'll head out. I mean, should I do one more? This feels like overkill. Maybe it wouldn't work quite as well against non grinier since I do have it set up for corrosive. And like I said, having the Panzer Volpophila that can proc viral on top of whatever I'm rolling. So viral's not always the best choice for everything you're doing, but to have it in the background is the guaranteed status from your companion. So you can roll whatever status you think makes the most sense. It's uh, it's a really nice combination. To strike. That strike was ridiculous, to guys. That was absolutely hands. ridiculous. I did not expect that at all. I mean, that was the definition of melting a room. The definition of melting a room right there. Which strongly leads me to believe that I could solo a Netra cell with Dante. Um, I did it in a duo with my clan leader just uh, yesterday, or maybe the day, bef day before, a couple days before. Um, and we went in as a duo, but he was just in there to watch me. And I made it to 4% left and then went down. Of course, because I had a teammate, it wasn't game over. Uh, but the problem that I had with Dante was, even though I've got him hitting for millions and millions of damage now, um, it is the economy of energy. Um, so when the energy orbs aren't dropping, it's hard for Dante to do what he needs to do. And uh, I was rolling Felarch's Epitaph Glaive Prime. That was my loadout. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm going to test that maybe even in the next video. Uh, this one's already been running, oh gosh, a little long at this point, guys. So I don't think I'm going to do it in this one. Uh, but yeah, uh, kind of curious to see what if I picked another frame? What if I picked another frame and also kept the Torrid? Uh, Dante, I know, is great. Um, but who else could Sometimes I use that... You know, how about I take somebody like Hildren? Hildren is great for shields. Uh, that's mainly what I use with her is pillage and just, you know, use her as a weapons platform with incredible survivability. So, yeah. Uh, Haven is great when you're with a group. Uh, Balefire is not bad. I'm sure I could make it better. Age of Storm, it's okay. It's good for holding a big group of enemies in place and uh, keeping them from doing anything. So if you're playing with a group, like they can pick them off while you hold them in place. But playing solo, for me, basically it's Pillage. Pillage is uh, what keeps her on her feet. Gosh, she does look awesome too. Ridiculous. Hildren, you're ridiculous. Let's see how fun it is with Hildren and Torrid. Let's just do it. Let's uh, let's just go. I'm I'm gonna finish here. I I, I, I am in awe at the Torrid Incarnate. That is absolutely ridiculous. I I couldn't clear a room that fast with a Felarks. Uh, period. I mean that just that just decimated everything. Everything. Uh, I could keep doing series. Do I have anything left on Mars? What do I have left on Mars? Tyana Pass Olympus. That's Disruption. Interception. Which one is Interception? Interception's the one that I was doing arbitration with Dante. The one that in general I don't much care for. Arcwing Steel Path. That I don't even know. Disruption, I know which one that is. That's the one with the heavy, heavy hitting. Oh, you know what? I wonder what kind of damage output this would do on the people that are trying to blow up your targets. Let's try this. Let's just see what happens. I used Hildren just the other day to get past uh, Hijack. I think it's Hijack. The ones where they steal your shields and you cart the, uh, the bomb. The Fomorian bomb or whatever it is to the point. <laughs> it's, okay, let's just uh, let's just try this. 
I guess I could swap it out and take that one instead since it's right here. Demo unit incoming. Don't let them near the conduit. Alright, they're up here. Let's see what kind of damage the Torrid and Karnan does to mm, not very good. How in the world do you take those guys out then and still pass? How will I get past them? Yeah. So it looks like maybe I need to keep it uh, at the non-beamed Corroso, so out of Incarnate form first to get their shields dropped and then try to beam them down with the Incarnate. It's a little tough to say. This is at least a fun test. Hear that beeping? Demo unit's on its way. Yeah, but from where? Still not enough to take him down. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna be getting uh, past this with the Torrid. Though it does rather beg the question: of What do I have? Oh, you know what? Maybe Dante would be a good choice for that then, because I could just status prime dump all of my damage multipliers on top from his kit. And try to nuke. Try to nuke the... Um, the red guys that are trying to blow up the point. Clever. I 
wonder. Failed, failed, insert key, collect key. I wonder. Do you have to get through all four in order to get through the mission? Uh, gosh, it's been so long since I've done one of these solo. I truly don't remember what the gist was, which I guess is okay. Are they down this way? Nope, they're the other way. Okay, Mania. <laughs> yeah. Why has that guy not blown the thing up yet? That's all right. Yeah, so that is a very good weapon, but I feel like it's going to take a little more than that for this. Mm, it was a fun test anyway. So I'm going to guess that I'm going to need to bring in Dante on his A game to get through these on Steel Path. Not easy. Not easy. Well, Hildren, it was fun pulling you out again. You gave it a valiant effort, but... Um, the torrid needs to be hitting harder. I bet you, I bet you, once I get some of those uh, other galvanized uh, mods, the ones specific for the rifle, this thing's going to be hitting a lot harder. I'm just going to have to invest a few uh, formas in it. But uh, nonetheless, I, I think we can get through it. Maybe Dante, maybe Hildren still. I think I just need to get this hitting harder, or I could try a totally different weapon. Obviously, the Felark still does hit reasonably hard, but I don't think it's going to be able to put out the kind of DPS that's going to be needed. I think if I can get the Torrid's baseline damage up, it's probably what the doctor ordered due to the nature of how the beam weapons function. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll play around with it. Either way, it was a fun little test. Uh, but kind of the main thing I wanted to do was um, test Saren. Uh, I got through some stuff sloppily, but we did get through it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, can I get through some things with her? Yes, but it doesn't feel good to do. She still just feels too squishy for my liking. And like I said, there may be some really good feedback that uh, you guys provided. And I will catch up on that this weekend. Uh, but I know you have no reference uh, based on how I record and release when I'm saying that. Uh, today is Tuesday, October the 15th. So as of the time that I'm recording this video, this upcoming weekend, the weekend of the 19th and 20th, is when I'm going to be spending a few hours catching up on all of my comments. Um, so yeah, uh, but we did get through it. So I, I did prove that, yes, I can actually get through some stuff with Saren. Definitely a lot better having a radial attack weapon because uh, that played into the strengths of her kit. Um, I just feel like uh, maybe there's a weapon better at it than Exceltra Prime. Uh, and maybe some survivability swap or compromise. Uh, for Saren, but she does put out some crazy good damage numbers. 
And uh, so does that Torrid Incarnate. I'm very impressed by that weapon. I'm probably still going to play around with it a bit in the background and uh, work on getting some formas as I uh, work on arbitrations as well. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's all I wanted to do today. Just give Saren another go. Try out the Torrid that I was just playing around with and just happened to off the cuff decide to try uh, Hildren on a disruption so we'll uh keep working on making some stuff stronger in the background and then we'll come back and give it another go uh but either way that was a really really fun test and i enjoyed it uh so guys that is today's video as always i do sincerely appreciate you checking in and we will catch you on the next one